Now, this is a chart I've actually been, uh, if any of you have met me in person recently, this is what I've been referring to quite a bit because I, I really like, I mean, sometimes when you visualize things differently, it just gives you a really nice perspective. So this particular chart, as you can see, I've used the subset function again in Workbench and isolated only the bull markets. So I'm only looking at significant and meaningful uptrends. And what I've done then is obviously color coded them, right? So we've got our different epochs. And then up the top here, you can see these drawdown traces. Now, these drawdown traces are from the local high of this particular indexed price trace. So the way to think about it, we're in a bull market. What I want to see is how deep are the corrections, right? That's the frame of reference I'm coming at it from. We do have a dashboard for both BTC and Ethereum that covers this particular chart, as well as the opposite, which is bear market rallies. From the low in a bear market, how high do the rallies actually go? Those cap Basically, we're looking for how deep is the counter trend move? Now, the thing that I've been talking about quite a bit that I find fascinating is that in our current market cycle, you can see how shallow this second bar down here is just a Fibonacci level because many people are familiar with the Fibonacci pullbacks, 23.6%. Um, we hit that level many, many times during the 2017 market, and we dipped well and truly below 60% drawdown during that March 2020 event um, here in 2019, 2020. We've had some pretty serious pullbacks during previous uh, uptrends. We have not had anything remotely close. In fact, we've barely even got a 20% drawdown on a closing basis. So in many ways, this 2023 market has been extremely resilient, impressively so. We have seen a lot of support starting to come in and Bitcoin has really been grinding sideways and up for the majority of the year. And again, putting in 140% um, year to date, uh, in terms of returns, in terms of price, and barely suffering a 20% drawdown once or twice during this market cycle. It is quite impressive. Um, so it's just one of those things. We're just looking at kind of the, the, the objective price data here. Again, we haven't really even tended beyond just price, but sometimes I find visualization using techniques like this to be quite useful. Um, and certainly this is what we spend a lot of our time here uh, at Glassnode playing around with Workbench to try and just find these different visualizations that uh, quite often can help us contextualize and put things into context.